allowing Instagram, Instagram to take a toll on my mental health. It's not Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. And there's construction going on outside my apartment and I'm fed up. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Well, let me close this window. Because these folks don't respect me and my time. Anyway. Happy Thursday. It is going on 11 a.m. and my period came. Wasn't I just telling y'all how I just felt like Mother Nature was gonna try to play me ahead of Memorial Day weekend while I'm trying to be in somebody's pool? Yeah. So my period is here and I am craving nothing but watermelon right now. So I'm about to go to Ralph's and go get a shit ton of watermelon. Um, and I know that watermelon is not in season right now, um, but for some reason, the watermelon that Ralph's cut up and put in like the fridge, that shit is good, okay? But the whole watermelons that they sell, I feel like just lack a lot of juiciness and sweetness. Probably gonna also pick up some avocados. I don't have any more avocados. Um, and I'm probably gonna get some ice cream. I don't know, I don't know, I may not, cause I know I shouldn't be eating that. Um, I would go and get my like dairy free, like gluten free vegan ice cream from down in Hollywood. But I just don't know if I feel like making that trip right now. So yeah. And I'm like also working. So I think I'm just gonna go to Ralph's, get the watermelon, um, get some avocados. I might end up getting some ice cream. I feel it in my bones that I might. Like my period is here. I feel like I deserve like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so honestly, I'm just like trying to stay hydrated. Y'all know how bad my periods get. Um, and I felt like my period was like coming leading up um, to today. So like for the past two days, I've kind of been like popping a little bit of ibuprofen here and there when I want to feel like my stomach starts to get a little crampy. Uh, but then it finally came. And so last night when I was eating dinner, I probably popped about like three um, ibuprofens and then maybe like two more before I went to bed because I don't play that shit. I don't play with these cramps. Like these cramps really be sending me to the ER. And y'all know I live out of LA by my lonesome, okay? Who's gonna be able to take me to the ER when I passed out on the ground? On my floor in my apartment. Exactly, exactly. healthier option than what I was gonna go with. Baby. All right, y'all, I just went Ralph's and I got a watermelon, got my avocados and um, ice cream. I'm a happy girl. Honestly, I feel like every woman should take like a menstrual leave from work like one or two days because we deserve like we deserve to go to the grocery store get some good ass fruit and like go to the beach on a day like this like are you kidding me are you kidding me <laughs> like the girls deserve i am one of them but i think if anything i'm gonna just leave work early today because i could do that Cause I can do that. All right, time to take my tail back home and eat some watermelon and then cook lunch and just go on about my day. 
child i really got some nerve to be out here in a crew neck like it's not 78 degrees i be forgetting that my ass be on the west coast i do not live in new york no more like we is not back at home <laughs> like girl we is not back at home so what i'm gonna need you to do is take the sweater off like you got some sense <laughs> girls so i just made it back into the crib as you can see i took that damn crew neck off <laughs> and i put on just a regular yellow top i just put these avocados away and chow on this watermelon i'm so excited for this watermelon y'all it's kind of ridiculous <laughs> after washing a few dishes and I don't know how long it's gonna take for the water to drain like my girl is like really not working but anywho time for me to have my watermelon telling y'all like this rouse watermelon i don't know i mean it's not like you know whole foods but this shit is like better than whole foods um fresh fruit that they be having Yummy. Y'all, I'm about to chow down. Like, look. Look at the material. Please look. Please look at the material. Excited to eat this, okay? So excited to eat this, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, girls. So it is now 1.55 and I have yet to eat lunch. Um, after I ate my watermelon, I had a couple work meetings. 
Um, now I'm cooking lunch. I am just making some regular, regular um, teriyaki grilled chicken again with some leftover rice from yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to add um, some avocado to my, I'm gonna make like a little chicken teriyaki avocado bowl. Y'all know I love a bowl, okay? I love to just be whipping and mixing and just putting stuff together that's like quick and easy. Um, but yeah, proud of myself for still like eating healthy meals on my period because let me tell you how I could go for some Doritos, like I can go for it all, okay? But I'm still trying to maintain um, eating healthy while on my period. But let me show you how this chicken is looking because this chicken is looking good. Get into the chicken. Get into it, okay? Get into her. Yeah. She is looking yummy. Yeah. Get into it, mama. Now I'm just taking out my rice from yesterday. I just reheated that up. All right. So I have my rice here. Now I'm about to take a piece of chicken place her right on top and then i'm just gonna take my avocado i already sliced her up and kind of just like just drop her in the bowl love a good healthy fat you want a healthy fat booty you know I'm gonna add just a little bit of crushed red pepper. And I'm also just gonna add a little extra teriyaki sauce, rice and whatnot. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add some sriracha, just kind of on this side. And there we have our nice, yummy chicken bowl okay y'all can't tell me i can't cook nothing simple easy and to the point okay it's giving it's giving it's giving my mind y'all i am hungry i am hungry I like this. Definitely make this more often. I tell y'all, I love a good bowl. Mm. It's always the avocado for me. The avocado for me, child. And the sriracha. That's always gonna hit. Okay. For a split second, I had a thought in my mind that like I didn't want to go to the beach anymore. And I think it was just because like I was thinking about like, um, you know, editing my YouTube video. But honestly, girl, I just need to like keep living in the moment. It's only two o'clock. Like I still have time in the day. Um, I don't need to watch the sunset, you know, just be there for a good enough time, you know, where I feel good and I feel a little bit recharged. So I can come back home, you know, still have my night routine and still have time to edit content. Um, I'm also thinking about taking a nice bubble bath tonight because when I went to Target a few weeks ago, I seen the Dr. Teal's uh, like menstrual relief bubble bath that all the girls on TikTok are talking about. And I was like, let me see if this really works. Like y'all be saying it really works. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that tonight. It's like a nice warm bubble bath. And I think the bubble bath is gonna hit even more after like laying out on the beach and just like soaking up the sun, reading a book, drinking some water, eating my watermelon, and just having a nice woosah moment, you know? All right, girlies, my little beach bag is packed. I have my blanket. I have my watermelon that I'm gonna snack on. I have my laptop just in case some work stuff may come up. My external hard drive may do some editing. Emphasis on the may do some editing. 
have my little tripod for my camera wallet you peep i got the tylenol just in case some lip balm um and i brought a like hoodie and some leggings um that's under here just in case it gets a little chilly um and i have my keys obviously and then i have my book that i'm going to read it's a poetry book um by young pueblo and it is called clarity and connection i literally love every single poem that i have read in this book so far so yes that is all that your girl has packed and i am pretty much ready to go so i'm gonna holla at y'all when i get to the beach bye Okay, y'all, so I made it to the beach, but here's the backstory. I'm now about to leave the beach. I just pulled out my camera and I'm about to leave the beach because when I was at the beach, I literally knocked out. Like, I was sleepy. It felt nice to just kind of like take a nap on the beach. Probably not the safest thing to do, but it felt really good. And I definitely would do it all over again. But yeah, so sorry, y'all. I don't have any footage from the beach, but. We'll probably be back again another time next week. It is now 6.15 and I'm about to head home and eat the same thing again for dinner. My period really be taking me out. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Good morning, happy Friday. It is 10.22 a.m. Um, and I'm actually about to head to Bluestone and go and get some breakfast. Um, one of my favorite partnerships that I have for this year has to be like being partnered with Bluestone Lane because like I get free breakfast, free matcha, free all of that. I feel like those are the kind of partnerships that I'm looking to manifest. Partnerships that just work seamlessly into like my daily life. Like if I could have a paid partnership with like a feminine care company, um, like a restaurant, hotel, flight, like those are the kind of partnerships that we like to manifest. Um, but yeah, so I must go ahead and get some breakfast. Um, yesterday after I left the beach, I came home and I realized that my garbage disposal is still like has not been fixed. I came home, used the bathroom, and then for some odd reason, my toilet just like wouldn't flush. So I had to put in a maintenance request for that, but um, I haven't heard back from maintenance. Luckily with the toilet, the toilet did flush like after um, a few hours went by. Um, so happy that that kind of like worked itself out, but like that really pissed me off yesterday because I was like in such a good mood to just like come home, um, eat some dinner, edit some content and go to bed. But when that happened, I was like, I'm over this day and I'm on my period. Yeah, I'm over this day. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to hop back on the camera last night, but here I am today. And I don't know if you can tell but my mood is just like a little moody. I got a little moody tootie. Um... The weather is definitely gloomy today. As you can see, I have on a hoodie and a little jacket. LA weather is just so inconsistent these days. Like you just never know. You just never know. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put in my order for Bluestone. I think I'm just going to get their, um, what am I gonna get? I think I'm just gonna get a matcha latte with oat milk and a peanut butter and berry toast love that toast it's so good they just put like raspberries strawberries and like mint leaves on top of like toast with peanut butter so good once i get back home i'm going to upload a youtube video i am so happy that my last vlog is just like now out into the world with y'all because like i just am so excited to be starting over and just like filming in real time like just so excited to get back onto like a normal you know cadence and schedule um i don't know i've just been having like really like not so happy and not so good thoughts and feelings towards instagram like 
I've been, you know, coming across so many LinkedIn posts. I've been coming across so many um, YouTube videos of like those that work in the media space that, you know, can also attest and agree to the fact that um, Instagram is tanking. Instagram is not like what it used to be. Instagram doesn't know what it wants to be. And so I feel like a lot of creators um, and people that, you know, look to profit off of that platform are suffering in the back end, you know, like it's really like a fine line between like does Instagram want to be like a distribution channel or does Instagram want to be a platform that's like creator first and creator friendly and to be completely honest they don't know where they want to be on that scale um and so I feel like there's a lot of people that are just like suffering you know on the back end because of that and I feel like I'm one of those creators um but yeah so honestly like I'm not here to like tell a sob story um, or anything because I feel like this conversation um, continues to be had over and over again and I don't see Instagram like trying to change um, but yeah so at this point I think I'm really just going to continue um, to put all my eggs into you know the channel and the areas that you know really bring me joy like I love that TikTok and YouTube are definitely um, creator centered and creator focused and not only that but I actually really do just enjoy like creating like long form like vlogs like this versus just trying to capture like quick little moments for like an IG reel and just like try to keep up you know on this rat race of just like you know algorithms and like times to post and like am I using the right audio should I use a hashtag in this caption like honestly like it's just too much and I'm over it so honestly like the goals that I had of becoming an influencer full-time and a content creator full-time um, if that is heavily contingent upon you know my Instagram following then like I don't really know how far how long um, this whole goal or dream of becoming a full-time content creator influencer is really going to go um, Sorry for the construction outside. It seems that every freaking time I get on this camera, niggas want to be outside doing a whole lot of shebang. Cut it out. Anywho, as I reflect on this whole content creator journey, I really, really do regret um, in my college years not having been consistent with my YouTube channel. Um, but you know, everything does happen for a reason. Everything does happen in divine timing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think for me, I really wish that I kept up with my YouTube channel because I really felt like YouTube is definitely a place where like I can really build that like strong and solid community here. Like y'all always show up for me. No matter how many times I go on a hiatus, like y'all are always here in the comments like, you know, uplifting me, like rooting for me, like even coming over from YouTube to Instagram to be like, hey, we miss you on YouTube. And it's just like, I'm tired of just like not seeing my own genius and just like not listening to y'all when y'all are clearly telling me like where y'all want me to be at. And that is YouTube. And you know, not only is it that y'all want me to be here on YouTube, it's like, I want to be here on YouTube as well. Like I have always loved YouTube since I was 10 years old. Like with my god sister, just like, dancing making like silly videos you know like i have always been a youtube girl always been a youtube girl i definitely do want to get back to that i feel like vlogging youtube just always like brings out like my inner child and it just brings me back to a place that like i just always just had pure joy doing so I'm going to continue that and I'm definitely going to try and keep myself way much more accountable um, on this new iteration of me just like being on YouTube. Um, and I completely understand that like my energy ebbs and flows and there are definitely going to be some times like I, I may not put out a video like, you know, once every week or like two times every week. Like, there will be some times like I just need a break. And I definitely just like because I understand that within myself, I hope that y'all can also understand that as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just happy to be back here on YouTube. I'm happy to just like stop, you know, spinning my wheels and getting so frustrated and like allowing Instagram, fucking Instagram to take a toll on my mental health just because the goddamn platform don't know who it is or what it is when I know who the hell I am, okay? So clearly the energies are not aligned, okay? I'm only rocking with platforms and people and things and environments that feel aligned with where I am on my journey. So whenever Instagram decides to figure out like who and what it wants to be, then that's when I can figure out if I want to interact and engage like I used to on that platform. So yeah, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast. I am super, super hungry. Um, also, today is Friday. Friday is typically the days that I will go and meet with my trainer. But because I have really bad period cramps last night, I just told him let's just you know reschedule for our session on Monday for Memorial Day. So I am going to have a morning session with him on Monday. But today I'm just like taking it easy, um, just relaxing, kind of just like resting. Um, especially as I make it through, you know, day two of my period now. So yeah, just trying to take it easy, mellow, you know. Uh, one of my friends hit me up yesterday to see if I probably want to go out tonight. And like, just based off the weather, child, I don't know if I want to go out tonight. Based off my period, I don't know if I want to go out tonight. Like, I'm honestly really just feeling like it's going to be a nice, like, bubble bath day. You know, edit some content and just like, chill out. I don't know. I feel like there's other things happening on um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday that I can definitely like step my foot into. Uh, but I just feel like for today, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling yet. Um, but yeah, I've been rambling on and still have not yet ordered my food. So let me go ahead and order this food. Also, can we like talk about how the last vlog that I gave y'all was definitely like over an hour? Are we filming an hour long vlog or do we want to go back to like the 20 minute vlogs? Let me know because I can definitely always shorten up some content and have more content to schedule out, you know. But let me know what y'all thinking. Do y'all want, you know, the full hour long vlogs or do you want me to kind of chop up my content for y'all to have more bite sized videos to like watch throughout the week? Let me know. I'm gonna holla at y'all when I get back. I order is completed. Okay, see y'all later. Hey booze, so I made it back home. I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Bluestone. Here is my oat milk matcha latte. For some reason, I feel like they did not add any vanilla syrup at all in my lattes. Also, my barista guy wasn't working there today, so go figure. Um, but I do have some vanilla syrup at home, so I just like poured some in here, just added some extra ice cubes, and girl. So good. I just love that matcha is just like make me feel like a bad bitch. Matcha make me feel like a healthy bad bitch who is getting her life together, who is healthily restoring her energy, okay? Matcha is really that girl. If y'all are not on the matcha tip, please get on the matcha tip, okay? I love my Bluestone matcha lattes. Ugh. Get into it, okay? Get into it, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let me bring y'all closer so I can show y'all my uh, berry toast. All right, y'all, so here is my berry peanut butter toast from Bluestone Elaine. Ugh, look at this. Let's get into it, girls. The mint leaves, oh my God. I cannot wait to grub down. We gotta make sure that every sip of matcha tastes good. It has all the vanilla, all the matcha, just a good mix in every sip, you know? This toast, baby girl. I be feeling like they put honey on here too, cause this just be dripping. Or maybe it's just the juice from the strawberries and the berries, I don't know. But, oh shoot. I gotta take a photo and send this to my trainer. God damn it. Damn it, I'll be hungry. Fuck. I swear to you, that be my problem every time. Photo of my matcha latte too. So you're gonna be like, what you drinking? Perfecto. All right, let's do this. really good sometimes the mint leaves be throw me off because i'm not used to mint on my food but definitely is an acquired taste but all right y'all i'm about to eat this breakfast continue working from home work on my youtube thumbnail and have a chill day Hey booze, 
um it is so late right now it is going on 11 30 and my tail is trying to get ready to go out like i actually never go out this late like if i'm gonna go out like it's definitely gonna be a little bit earlier like i would at least try to play to leave the house by like 10 30 um but i had cramps like closer to this evening like after i uploaded my last vlog um and i was putting on waking up at like maybe like 8 30 or a little bit earlier and like start getting ready to go out and whatnot but y'all i looked at my damn clock when i woke up and it was going on 10 30 i'm like oh shoot so now i'm like trying to rush and just do like a quick little touch up little beat real quick to like head out y'all could tell that i'm rushing because like my eyebrows ain't even like as defined as they normally are but it's already late and y'all know everything in LA closed at like 2 a.m. So it's not that deep. We just gonna do the bare minimum. I just went in with my Born This Way um, Too Faced Matte Foundation. Then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way um, Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Lightest beat in the world. Not even beat. I don't even know what this is called, but your girl is brushing and I'm thinking about, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drive tonight. Um, and I think me and my friends, we're probably gonna go to the Continental Club. That's like one of my favorite spots on Friday. Um, so we're gonna head there and really kind of fill out the vibes. See what's popping. I just hate that everything in LA closed at 2 a.m. like that's so early i'm used to everything like closing in new york at like 4 a.m so niggas like in new york niggas is like just getting ready so right now me getting ready at 11 o'clock is like normal for niggas like oh i miss that but um yeah so i'm just putting on this concealer and then I'm gonna put on my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and honey. Shout out to me having braids cause the braids is really holding me down. Like if I have to do my hair at all, like touch my hair aside from my edges, like it would be slow. I would not be going out. Like, let me tell you how black women and our hair, like it's like a whole shebang for us, you know? So this is the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder in honey that I'm gonna be using. One thing I don't play about is a good under eye highlight. Don't play with your girl. All right, so I'm definitely gonna tone this down with my Sephora Macro Smooth Powder. Um, I am in the shade Mahogany 56. I'm gonna go in with this brush and kind of just like... Now I'm gonna go in with my Tula um, Toasted Bronzer. Y'all know I love a good bronzer. Take a little bit of that bronzer and place it right over my lids because I'll be getting oily lids. Lush. Hello? No, it's okay. Me and my friends, there is something happening at Continental. It's just not with the, the normal people that are there. Um, and there's no cover. So we're just like, let's just go there, I guess. Um, they're going to go to Continental. I guess like they don't want to like pay a, like, a cover, or, like a ticket fee or whatever tonight. So I'm just like, okay. So... I guess I'm just gonna drive since it's already kind of late to um, Continental and just like meet them there. Okay, well, I can meet y'all over there. Okay. Like 45, well, I can see traffic, but I can leave right now. Okay, where are you? Y'all in Culver City? No, I'm in Calabasas right now. Oh, hell, Steven. <laughs> no, I, I moved. 
so just don't, don't worry about me. I had no idea your ass was in motherfucking Calabasas, child. I'm thinking you on this side. I'm thinking you on the other side of town already. Well, wait, are you out right now? Are you at home? I'm at home. I'm about to, like, hop in the car. Yeah, I could be there in 30 minutes. 35 minutes. Okay, you and your friends gonna come? Uh, yeah, just me and one of my friends. Okay. Um, alright, cool. I'm about to finish my makeup real quick, throw on my shoes, and just, like, head over to Continental. There's also this, like, real ratchet ghetto, I think, like, after hour spot that I found that I could also send. If you're interested and you want to keep the party going, um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, what happened with the see you soon thing? So what happened with it was they didn't want to pay like ten dollars, so I was like, I right, whatever. So uh, that was it. yeah, did y'all buy y'all tickets already though? No, I never that link. But your text never came through. I never saw anything from you. Oh hell yeah, I sent the link. Shit. Okay. We're gonna meet there first since there's no cover. All right. Okay. All right. All right. See ya. See ya. Child, not Steven ass being in motherfucking Calabasas talking about some, I'm coming out tonight. Child, you across the world. <laughs> like how, Steven, how? How are you about to come out tonight? Your ass in Calabasas. That's the thing about LA, okay? Niggas really be trooping it out here just to get to a function and I hate that. Like, I just hate that everything in LA it's just so goddamn far away. All right, so my bottom lashes are covered with this Bagel Bang mascara um, by Benefit. Now for my top lashes, I'm going to use this um, Kosas mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It's the big clean one. Y'all know I love my NARS Torrid Blush. Like, I'm a NARS girl when it comes to blush. Do not freaking play with me. Do not. And then I'm going to just do regular gloss tonight. I'm going to line my lips using my MAC Chestnut Liner. And then for my lip combo, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Lip Glass in the shade Primordial. And then I'm just gonna add some clear gloss on top from Sephora. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray. Shout out to my girl, Hana, that put me on, okay? Girl, this stuff is the truth, okay? So I got my gloss and now I am ready to go. I am rushing y'all, so I'ma holla at y'all when I meet up with my friends um, downtown and we're gonna go out tonight. We're gonna go out tonight. I can't really show y'all my fit. You know, I don't have a full body situation going on, but all I have on is this black corset top. All I have on is some jeans. I can't show y'all, so I'ma jump jeans <laughs> blue jeans light jeans and then i'm gonna put some clear sharpie heels and a leather jacket and that's the whole shebang quick and easy i don't got time um but still look cute still look cute enough to get chose tonight even though it's like a quick rush beat so what's good <laughs> Okay, girl, so I decided to show y'all just like what I'm looking like. So I just have on this black corset top that is from Zara and I have on these blue um, straight legs slash like wide bottom pants um, that are also from Zara and then these like clear um, heels that are also from Zara. So I'm keeping it real light and basic tonight. That's for sure. And then I also just have this leather jacket from Zara as well. Honestly, this video might as well be sponsored by Zara. Hit up your girl. Um, and that's about it. And then for my bag, because it is kind of chilly tonight, I'm gonna wear my Brennan Blackwood um, like furry Sherpa little blue bag. Um, and that's about it. This is the face this is the look i feel good i look good and yeah so all right girls time to head out and i will see y'all later bye
Y'all, not me at McDonald's at 2.53 a.m. <laughs> We've been drinking a little bit, not too much. I only had like one drink, tequila mule, and I feel like my alcohol tolerance is like slowly like increasing or I have a low tolerance, which means that like, Hi, we'll put McDonald's, can I help you? Um, hi, can I just have a medium fry and a lemonade? Okay. And that'll be all. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, y'all, when I be drinking now, like, I don't be feeling nothing, which I don't think is a good thing. <laughs> um, but yeah. But well, we about to go to some after hours hookah lounge situation. Um, yeah, so that's where we about to go. We trying to keep the party rolling because niggas hate that everything in LA closed at 2 a.m. Like, it's so bogus. So, yeah, about to get these fries. Um, my trainer will be proud of me that, like, at least I'm only eating fries. You know, nothing else. Uh, I'm excited for these french fries because I need something in my tummy. Last time I ate was around like lunch this afternoon, which is after I clocked out of work. So maybe around like three something I ate. And I went to sleep until like 10. Like my period really took me out, y'all. Really took your girl out. No, can I do a small lemonade with the medium fry? Okay. The, the lemonade is the same place, that doesn't matter? No, it's okay, I'll still do a small. Ciao. I don't need no large. No large. Here you go. Thank you. Y'all, these fries are delicious. So, we here at McDonald's still because Caleb said he was coming here. He said he was gonna meet me at my location at the McDonald's. Um, no, I feel like this lemonade about to set it off though. Do not try this at home. Do not eat McDonald's at this time of night. I highly do not recommend. Actually, that lemonade did not set this off. Let me call Caleb. Because I'm not understanding. Oh, yeah, I didn't come to McDonald's? Okay. Uh, no, I had texted you and told you that we was, uh, we was just coming to the spot because I couldn't find a McDonald's. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're about to head there now then. Alright. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye. Mercury retrograde shit. Communication is off. Hello? Where you go? I went back into the McDonald's parking lot. Where you go? I'm on the same side. There are parking spots over here. Alright, don't don't move. Stay okay. Where you are. All right, well, they ended up going to the spot. I guess he texted me saying he couldn't find the McDonald's. So I'm like, okay, I didn't get that text. This Mercury retrograde is like tripping niggas up. <laughs> I, I get it. Alright, you know where you're going, you know where it is. I'm putting, I'm trying to pull out my motherfucking GPS. I don't know why it's not working. Alright, it's a 12 minute drive. 12 minutes? Yeah. Alright. You down with that? Yeah, you ready to go? You gonna keep circling me? This is second time circling me? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you don't have to be doing donuts in the motherfucking McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'll see you there. All right, bye. Bye. All right, y'all, we out this bitch. I'm going to holler at y'all when we get to this hookah spot. Bye. tell y'all it is 4 39 a.m and i really have like 
I still have energy, like I'm not tired. Like I took my nap, what time did I take my nap around? I think I took my nap around five o'clock and I didn't wake up until like 9.30 going on 10 o'clock. Like, so I pretty much like went to bed, bed. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm not like super, super exhausted, but I definitely could use like more sleep. Um, so I'm about to go ahead and just remove my makeup, get into some comfy clothes and just head to bed. Um, I don't know what my plans are for tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna go to Black Market Flea tomorrow and then, um, what else? I don't know, I don't have any other plans. I think tomorrow, if I'm feeling up to it, if I wake up early enough, I'm probably going to go um, on a nice hike because I did not work out on um, Friday with my trainer. So I think that I'm going to get a nice little workout in um, or just like a calm hike tomorrow morning. That could be nice. And then I'll probably just do some apartment cleaning um, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm currently getting undressed so that I can take off my makeup. Um, tonight was cool though. I'm really, really happy that I decided to get out of the house um, because I could be such a homebody. But I realized that like being a homebody definitely like, it could set me back sometimes. And like, I could really like get in my own way by being a homebody. So honestly, I'm working on it. I'm really, really working on like not being a homebody and not allowing my moods to like get in my way when like one of my goals is to like, you know, really immerse myself in this new city, explore new places, make new friends and things like that. You know, can't do that in the house. So I'm trying here and there. I will definitely say I'm getting a little bit better, um, but it's hard. Um, so yeah, I just put on my silk robe. Where is this robe from? I think it's from Morgan Lane. And I got it from this partnership um, that I had with FabFitFun and it came in their spring box. Um, but yeah, so I got this robe from Morgan Lane. Um, yeah, so for my makeup removal process, I'm going to use my no drip cleansing cuffs um, by LA Beautyologist. I have these in so many colors now. Um, but yeah, so to remove my makeup tonight, I'm just going to use the Biosant Squalene and Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. Um, this right here is like my absolute hands down, like new favorite, like makeup remover, like honestly like there's truly nothing better i'm a fan i'm just a fan of like a lot of biosans products and this is definitely one of them but yeah like i was saying i had like a really cool time out with friends we went to continental club and y'all that after hour spot was so raggedy and so ratchet but like we were expecting that like any after hour spot that like we ever go to out here like it's always like it's like a hole in the wall like just <laughs> just real ghetto okay like really ghetto where were we at i think it was in inglewood too i think it was called i think it was called the playground but it was supposed to be some hookah lounge but i think they just like switched over like buildings that were like right next to each other or it might all be the same place i don't know maybe they changed the name but on the maps, it said um, Sky Hookah Mound, something like that. So we ended up going there. Um, it was so ratchet. Yeah, y'all, I'm about to just remove my makeup. Um, yeah, so I don't really need too, too much. I think I kind of OD'd. Definitely OD with the product here, but it's all good. So. I love this product, the milkiness of it. It just like really like, uh, it's just so smooth, like jelly for real, for real, like, and I love that feeling because I really feel like it just, it just picks everything up. 
and I love that once I apply water to my skin it kind of turns into like this nice like milky cleanser All right, I'm about to go ahead and rinse this off. I don't know if y'all can see it, got my eyes closed, but it turns into like this milky emulsion. And I really like it. I'm a fan. All right, y'all. So my makeup has been removed and like, I love that it's like a makeup remover and cleanser at the same time. So like I don't need to go in and double cleanse. Um, my skin just feels really, really soft. Um, and I just don't feel like I need to go in with like another cleanser, which is what I really love about that product the most. Now for my skincare routine. This time I am gonna show you my skincare routine because there are a lot of new products. Um, some still regular, regular, but some are new. So I definitely wanna show you guys. Um, so first, Tower 28 Facial Spray. I feel like when I'm on my period and I be taking lots of ibuprofen, I just be feeling like sometimes my skin just looks like dull. And like I feel like I just look a little dead sometimes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a full on skincare routine and definitely do lots of like deep hydration tonight. Um, so going to first start with my Glass Skin Refining Serum. Just gonna do two pumps of those. This is definitely hands down one of my favorite Peach and Lily products. Like, truly that girl. Typically for my vitamin C, I would use the Peach and Lily Transparency uh, Pro Spot Treatment. Um, I absolutely love this product. This is never gonna go anywhere. I just prefer to use this in the mornings for vitamin C. A new vitamin C product that I like to add into my nighttime routine is the Biosan Squalene Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. The only reason I'm choosing to use the Biosan Dark Spot Serum at night is because it has squalene in it. And obviously squalene um, is definitely hydrating for the skin. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do about three pumps. Just kind of focus on the areas. I do have dark spots the most, which is my cheeks, and then like the sides right here on my forehead. And then real quick, I'm just gonna put on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask before my lips get too, too dry. We love our Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Honestly, like, there is truly no other better lip mask out there, especially for overnight. Um, so now that I have my serums on, or most of my serums, I have one more serum I'm gonna add, but before my next serum, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye cream. So I'm actually gonna double up on two eye creams. Uh, and like I said, this is really just to like, give my skin the life that it really needs, especially as I, I kind of close out on my period. Um, so both of these eye creams are by Biosage. You guys seen this one before. This one is a squalene and peptide eye gel, which really does help with depuffing um, and things like that. And then this eye cream here is the squalene and marine algae eye cream by Biosage. Um, I absolutely love this one, but I feel like I can only use this one at nighttime because it is super hydrating and it is a little bit thicker. Um, and I just can't have anything too thick just like weighing on my eyes throughout the day it just makes my eyes feel really really heavy um, and yeah my eyes are just hella sensitive so I just can't use anything too heavy during the day like you know especially when you have like sunscreen on top of just like everything too it just it's a lot um, but at night I definitely do like to add both so I just use one two this is pretty much all I have on my finger. And then I just kind of dab my um, ring fingers together like so. And then I just go right under eye. And kind of just swipe lightly and then also tap and pat it. I'm so proud of myself for even doing my skincare routine right now at this time of night. This girl. I'm gonna go in and use the squalene and marine algae one. I absolutely do love the color of this eye cream though. Like I think this color is just so beautiful. It's so pretty. But I just do a little bit. I feel like with this you do not need a lot at all. I kind of just like 
dab and press against my finger. I'm gonna do the same thing and just go ahead and press and lightly swipe and tab under the eyes. Like I said in one of my other videos, I absolutely just love like eye cream. I feel like eye cream is like that luxe product that like I think everyone should truly invest in. Even if some people feel like they don't, eye creams don't really work, I feel like they do. So after my eye creams, I'm going to add in one more serum. And this serum is also from Biosance. This is a squalene and copper peptide rapid plumping serum. Um, so I really love this product for deep hydration as well. Um, so this says it's good for instant hydration as it has hyaluronic acid and paracrest. I absolutely also love the color payoff of this serum. Like it's such this pretty blue color. It has such this nice pretty blue color and I'm just going to really just put this all over the skin and the neck. Mm. And then I'm going to follow up with a moisturizer and because I am going for a more deeply hydrating you know skincare routine tonight I have two different Biosance moisturizers but this time normally I would use the squalane and probiotic gel moisturizer so this moisturizer really does help work um, with like dark spots and things like that um, but the one that I'm going to use tonight is the squalane and omega repair cream this one definitely has a thicker consistency and it definitely is a bit more hydrating. As you can see, I haven't really used as much of this product just because I am an oily skin girl. So I really don't be needing to put like thick, heavy moisturizers on my skin. So I really only use this moisturizer when I am kind of like going for more hydrating, you know, routine or after I do like an AHA treatment or something like that. So now my 5 a.m. alarm going off and I'm like just now doing my skincare routine to like get in the bed. <laughs> like, ciao. Yeah, Shorty was outside today. <laughs> after my moisturizer this product here by Biosance is the one product that really had my skin on glow in my last vlog like ugh. so this is the Biosance 100% squalane oil girl like this right here a little bit goes a long way okay like no cap like honestly that's all you need and watch how my skin just magically it's already going but like just watch how it like gets crazy okay like oh it really gets crazy, like the glow and the hydration. And like this glow lasts like overnight. Like y'all saw when I woke up in my last vlog, and my skin was on glow, like on glow. So, yep. So after I add the squalane oil, that's it. That's honestly it. That's like all of my, my skincare routine process. So we still do have some peach and lily, some tried and trues, and we have some newbies in here, um, which I love. I love all these newbies. I just hate that I found out about Biosounds like so late in the game. Um, Cause typically I'm the kind of girl where like, when I find something that works, I don't even want to like change up. But like, I'm happy that, you know, I was able to be introduced to Biosounds and like secure like a brand partnership with them. And like my skin loves the products so anyway y'all that is the end of my skincare routine for the night it is now 5 a.m and i'm just about to lay my head on the sheets your girl was out in the town tonight um but yeah so i must go ahead and take it down and i will holla at y'all in the morning bye love y'all hey girlies good morning again happy saturday it is 11 49 a.m um honestly my body was having like a hard time falling asleep last night after being out until like 4 a.m so i was up since like 9 a.m i was on the phone my stepmom just chat in y'all know that i'm in a search of looking for a puppy so one of my like big three goals this year is therapy puppy and um what was the last one 
I don't know. Actually, maybe it's just two goals. So two of my big goals this year is to get a new therapist, which I have checked off the list, and get a puppy. So the reason why I really want a puppy is for emotional support. I feel like I need that. Like I really, really do need that living alone. Yeah, it may look cute on the internet and through these vlogs, but like, girl, it be lonely sometimes, and I be needing that emotional support. So I have been on the dog search, and I put in a pet adoption application um, with this adoption center called Wags and Walks here in LA and I just came across the cutest miniature golden doodle on their website and he is available for adoption and I just sent um, one of the adoption teammates um, an email expressing interest so I'm really hoping that like we can set up some time for me to meet the doggy um, so his name is Kane um, and I don't know if y'all can see this is how he looks like y'all let me show y'all these photos like are you kidding me like are y'all for real y'all can't be for real like come on come on look at little Kane so Kane was born on March 25th um and he's a miniature golden doodle so I think he'll probably grow at most like 30 pounds or so uh or maybe even less than that but like I think that now that I've seen Kane I'm realizing what kind of puppy I do want when I first started the puppy search I was like hey it doesn't really matter what kind of breed it is but like I feel like a golden doodle or at least a miniature golden doodle is like exactly what I'm looking for like so freaking cute so I'm really really hoping that I can have some positive updates for y'all um later next week and hoping that I can meet Kane um but yeah so to get my day started freaking maintenance is supposed to be coming to fix the goddamn um garbage disposal my landlord said that they would be coming before noon but it's 11 52 and no one is here like I'm not about to plan my whole day around maintenance to come that's not happening and I'm about to keep me in the house when I'm like actively trying to be outside okay um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick shower um and then I'm gonna go to uh Bluestone Lane again and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a quick little breakfast gonna get a matcha latte of course and I'm going to get some peanut butter and banana toast I just love I just love their quick like um peanut butter like toast at um bluestone so that's what i'm going to go get i feel like i need the extra energy boost now whereas like last night i had all the energy but like now i don't and then after that um i am going to go to black market flea i just don't know what time yet i'm not sure what time my friends plan on going there but i definitely am going to go because i have like sat out on going the last couple times and my friends were there so that's gonna pop out, just not sure what time. So I'm gonna hot at y'all once I'm eating breakfast and kind of like getting on with my day. Bye! Hold up, got a cut up, lot of water, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, your bitch, on the on wanna come on, come on, hold on, hey, I'm a stone, stone, summer, summer, minute. that I was going to go to Bluestone after I got ready and took a shower and stuff which I still am I just think now at this point when it being 12 o'clock I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and just get ready as if I'm like headed out because I don't want to have to like worry about that after and be rushing so I think instead of bringing my food back here and eating I think I'm actually going to like go eat at the cafe and have a nice little working editing session. Uh, I'm for real about my content, y'all. So I'm making sure that y'all never have to go without me anymore. But right now I'm just oiling my scalp with my Imania Beauty um, High Maintenance Hair Elixir. I have been using this product for like two years now or a year now and girl, it's 
everything for my scalp, especially when I get braids and my scalp be feeling a little itchy sometimes. I love this product and it has definitely aided in so much of my hair growth and strength overall. So shout out to my girl Mia. I'm about to just lay my baby hairs and then I'm going to do a nice little light beat again. As I am doing my baby hairs, like before I do my makeup, are y'all the girls that do your makeup and then your hair or you do your hair and then your makeup? Please comment below so we can settle this debate once and for all in the black community because we need to talk about it, okay? I've been getting makeup all in my edges and that is just not okay. Like, I am not down with makeup in the hair. That's just not cool. And I think we could all do without the additional buildup. Am I right or am I right? I kind of feel like every time my braider asks me what kind of baby hairs I want, I tell her, just leave my regular baby hairs out. But she always proceeds to like go in and add more baby hairs. Not even baby hairs, she just adds hair, like hair. And I'm like, girl, this is not really the style that I want, but I can't really do anything about it. Like for the first like week or two when the style is really fresh. So I have to like wait like a little bit before I can like really finesse the way the baby hairs show up. All right, so baby hairs are laid. I am not yet at the braid stage where I need to like lay my hair down on mousse yet, which is amazing. Um, but when it does become that time, let me tell you how this beauty supply store um, has this mousse that's only like $9. And it's called Braids Control Foam, and it's for cornrows, locks, and twists, diamond edges. I don't know if this is like a really well-known like house brand, um, but this mess right here, this mess is the truth. All right, girls, so to get started on my um, makeup routine for today, for my brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Freeze. And to apply it, I just use the Anastasia like Brow Waves. Like this is an old pencil and I just use the um, this end of the spoolie here. And then to fill in my brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Um, so y'all know this is like a tried and true, like old faithful, all the YouTube makeup girlies was about that life with that product. Yeah, actually first let me go ahead and put on my primer. The primer that I like to use is from EVO Beauty. Um, it's the Perfect Primer um, and it has a matte finish. Please do not judge me for how this product looks. This product has been like through the works. Um, Y'all can't even like see the name on this mess no more, but it says EVO Beauty here. Um, and I like it. They like gifted me it and I was like, hmm, let's try this new beauty product, see what it's about. And I actually tried it and I was like, oh snap. Like, I like this product a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm like really a fan of it. And I just put it on the areas where I get the most oily, so really like in here. This is how I start my base. Product. This product is actually like really, really old. I like bought a new one, but for some reason, I kind of like how like the semi dried up brow freeze works for me. I feel like it just works a lot faster versus like a freshly new one where like it takes a while for it to like dry down and stuff like that. I like a brow look where my brows look like really fluffy but also like defined. Hello. Hey, where you at? Uh, we're about to pull up to Melrose. We're leaving uh, what's like my spot right now. What's that Melrose? Melrose? You, you never been over there? Um, depending on where you're going. Well, like the first store. It's like, have you ever been first shopping over there? No. Oh, well then you're in for a treat. Am I? Yeah. Okay, how long I gotta be there? Uh, we're probably gonna have to get away about two, probably like an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll go to Black Market and sleep. Okay, I would say that my brows have pretty much like dried down to like how I want them to look for the most part. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and like lightly fill them in in the sparse areas and then just like leave it at that. I took a little brush here and like dipped it into some of the pomade and the cap here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and like just gently stroke and kind of like fill in the sparse areas. All right, girls, so I don't know if y'all can see the difference in my brows here, but I feel like 
it's good enough of a difference for me i feel like they are definitely filled in enough um so yeah now i'm about to go ahead and just apply my makeup again same routine from last night so for my foundation i'm going to use my Too faced born this way foundation um last night i didn't tell y'all what shade i'm in but i'm in the shade maple here and then to apply it i'm using this blending brush here from l uh, pumps here nothing too wild just enough i'm going for a light b and then i just like literally just kind of go in focusing more on my cheeks area and then that's about it and i feel like the reason why i've been feeling like this light makeup is because my skin has been just doing the damn thing like my skin has really been doing amazing and just add just a little bit and all right once that has been applied i then take my foundation brush and just lightly pat where the edges of my concealer lived just for a nice seamless blend all around tap in here tap tap and then here i press i do not let any products sit near the eyes anymore the baking phase is over for your girl i just feel like when you bake you don't get that natural blend especially when you're going for like a really natural like look and I like to go in with like light layers. And I feel like it just brings the entire look together for real. Do my jawline. Go down the bridge of my nose just for a nice little brown here. And then today I'm gonna go for a glossy lid look and hide this makeup brush. This is like my love how it just gets. Nothing. Now for my glossy lid, honestly, I'm just going to use a regular clear gloss from Sephora. This Morphe flat brush here. I'm literally just gonna drip the product onto the brush like so. And then gently dab. And then I'm just going to swipe across, just being gentle not to get too close to my mascara i'm gonna take this morphe m433 brush here which is like a nice like fluffy brush and i'm just going to go around the edges of where i put the claws to get a nice like blend so for my lips i'm gonna use my mac chestnut of course and line my lips and then i'm gonna go in with my mac lip glass All right, girl, so there has been a change of plans on the outfit because of the weather. I'm not gonna do all white in this gloomy weather, um, but I'm gonna try and show y'all full body what I got on. Okay, so I just have on this fringe, um, fringe sweater crop top. I got this from some boutique back home in like Connecticut like years ago, and I just kept on to it. I just love this sweater so much. This is a sweater, it's the back. I have on this jean um, denim skirt. Um, yeah, this is how it looks in the back. <laughs> um, and then I just have on these chunky boots with these, um, like gray thick socks. Uh, yeah. And then bag of choice is again my Brandon Blackwood bag. And for my fragrance, I have my Perfect by Marc Jacobs. I have never finished a full bottle of perfume ever until I got this one here. Like, girl.
this Marc Jacobs this is like my that bitch fragrance and I love it so 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 much so y'all need to cop this I just love it um but yeah so I already sprayed some I need to go buy some more yeah I feel pretty nothing too overdressed nothing too underdressed I feel like this is like so perfect um but yeah so i'm about to head out the dough and i am about to go pick up my matcha latte so i'm gonna see y'all later bye <laughs> Got my latte. Got my matcha latte. We got my latte. No cap, y'all. Blue stone. They can take my money over Starbucks any day. Any day. Not my matcha spilling all over me. Can't go nowhere looking cute. Gotta have some napkins in here. Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. So I just made it to the flea. Um, and I found a park. And I'm walking up the block. We're about to fill out the vibes and see how this is. <laughs> Hey friends, y'all hey. these have been my roll dogs for the day and now we're out getting drinks and food before the next turn up. Ready? Cheers! <laughs> then we went to Dia's birthday party. Okay. Then we went to like one of their friends' house. Hey booze, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, it is 8.15 a.m. And last night was a bust. Like we were trying to figure out what move was happening last night and just nothing worked out. I think what me and the boys realized was like, you literally have to plan out your days in LA, like for every single thing. Like you can't just like, pop out nowhere like oh i'm hungry let's go grab a bite to eat without having to wait almost two hours and needing to make a reservation like you can't just be like oh let's pop up to this party or this event without it being sold out and you need to buy a ticket like it's just it's giving la is truly the virgo city that it is and you need to plan and strategize your every last move but anywho um the black market flea yesterday was like so so cool like i thought it was just so beautiful um uh, and those are the kind of spaces that i am looking to be in so whenever i'm on here and i'm talking about how i just want to like figure out where all the black people congregate like it's those types of spaces and communities and environments that like i truly enjoy being in like if it was up to me if i could just like pick up the black flea market and like drop it in a club like without like you know all the vendors and stuff obviously like that would be like my ideal kind of like scene setting like shebang like that's the kind of stuff that i like um so yeah i was just kind of um annoyed that we couldn't find like a function um to kind of just like turn up to last night we tried station 1640 y'all station is just so ghetto and ratchet it's just so ghetto i don't even know why we thought 
that after a certain time we was even gonna try and want to even get it at this point but we was just like we already here um but yeah so that was yesterday so today for sunday there are some more festivities happening um so today is another similar pop-up shop called black on the block um and honestly i'm debating if i even want to go now at this point because i went to the flea market yesterday um but yeah that's happening and i know there's some other parties happening tonight but yeah so to give myself some time to think about it i'm definitely going to spend my morning um going on a hike i'm gonna go on a hike today the last time that i actually worked out with my trainer was last wednesday um and my period came so definitely kind of like threw me for a loop um but now my period is definitely on the tail end which feels so amazing i'm so happy this shit is almost gone um but yeah so i'm thinking about going on a hike today i'm not sure if i want to go to runyon or if i want to go to the griffith um observatory and like do a hike there i don't know all i know is that i'm about to go on a hike um this morning and then i think after my hike i may treat myself to a matcha latte and breakfast from bluestone um y'all know bluestone so i'm just so happy that i do not have to work tomorrow like i'm just so happy like uh -huh. yeah. 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 up with my girl last night so i went to the club put on a fresh white suit and the mini coat sitting on the i'm just looking for somebody to talk to and show me some love if you know what i mean Talking me as soon as I stepped in the spot, I stepped in the spot. 200 bitches in the building, ain't none of them hot. Stepped on this pretty young thing that was working all the way at the top, all the way at the top. Tell me what is her name? Yeah. Oh, she made us drinks, the drink. We drunk and drunk and drunk and drunk and drunk and So I'm about to put on my sneakers. I think these are about to get real dirty today. But I think I'm probably gonna wash them today. Sneakers are on. Got my little bag. And I have my clean canteen water bottle. And then I have my shades in my car, I think. Um, so yeah, I probably just gonna throw those on when I get in the car. Um, but yeah, I am ready to go. And I'm gonna holla at y'all when we go hike. Bye! All right, girlies. So I just made it to Griffith um, and I just parked. I've actually never parked in this area before. I've only been to this trail like one time um, and it was like last year and it was like in a completely different area. So this area is like new for me. Um, so this is going to be an adventure and I'm just going to like hop on whatever like trail I kind of see like leading up. I am so excited to be hiking. I like love hiking. I just need to find a way to just like incorporate it into either my weekly or just like weekend kind of routine. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. Okay, girls, so I hopped on the first trail that I saw, and already. This trail is so much better than Runyon. Like, I'm already getting, like, a really nice view. I mean, it's obviously not, like, the view of, like, downtown LA, like, the city. But this is nice. I like these. I had to stop to make sure I started my Apple Watch. So we got to make sure he is tracking. 
I'm keeping account of these workouts, okay? girls so I think I want to challenge myself and run up a couple hills up this path so I think I'm gonna do a little jog up not all the way to the top now but you know I could do it let's do it And just like that, we made it to the top. I'm out of breath, but we made it to the top at the observatory. Go me. Go money. <laughs> oh my God, look at these dogs, y'all. Like, look at these freaking dogs. It's getting out of control now. Like, I'm having puppy fever really really bad we're trying to stay patient until I find the perfect puppy for me and not just getting a puppy off impulse girls now we are headed back down hopefully i don't bust my ass okay let's hope and pray for that one <laughs> so here's my little hiking summary i am content Woo. <laughs> girls I finished I did like a quick little mile and a half hike um which I feel like was great I wasn't looking to do anything too crazy just something to like really get my body moving again since you know I just got off my period just trying to gradually like get back into my flow um but yeah so now I have a lot more energy than I did earlier like I just need to really pay attention to my body when like I am feeling like moody and sleepy. This little hike was just like so perfect. I think this hike really showed me that like no matter how you're feeling, if you're feeling like down in the dumps, moody, groggy, get up and move. Move your body. And I know it's a lot easier said than done, but like when you make the when you make up your mind and like make the conscious choice to just like get up and freaking move, like you will just be so proud of yourself that you did that for yourself so yes i am now about to head to bluestone and get a matcha um and some breakfast and do some editing on some content i may work on my newsletter yes i know y'all like newsletter yeah we're gonna talk about my personal newsletter later not right now um because that is just like a whole thing in itself so we're gonna have a little sit down chit chat about that um so i may work on that while i'm eating breakfast and just edit some content have like a nice chill sunday morning slash early afternoon So I just like parked up the street from a blue stone and now I'm headed there. I love taking nice little walks in these little 
suburban areas of LA. So peaceful. Those shoes actually felt, they didn't feel too bad during, um, are those two little butterflies? Oh my God. Um, yeah, my Adidas didn't feel too bad um, when I was hiking, which I was surprised about because um, those shoes are made for like running and I feel like hiking is like a completely different kind of activity. Um, but they felt, they felt pretty good. Mushroom, the spinach, the egg whites, the kimchuri, the tomatoes. Bluestone is really that girl. So I just left Bluestone and it is 2.35 and I am about to head home. just get in the house I made a quick trip to Ralph's um, I made a quick trip to Ralph's because on my way home driving from Bluestone I realized that like I'm kind of sleepy and I think I want to take a nap so like I think at this point I'm just not gonna go to black on the block today and instead I'm gonna just like take a shower um clean up my apartment take a nap and just honestly like cook myself um like an early lunch um and dinner or a late lunch and dinner um and kind of just like vibe out until um the girls and i decide you know what we're gonna do tonight the people outside don't respect me when i'm trying to achieve my youtube goals thank you um honestly we're just gonna keep the ball rolling here um but yeah so as i was just telling y'all how we think continental club is a move tonight um one of our favorite djs erie hall who hosts like the see you soon like situation um but actually having a party tonight um and they just posted it on instagram so i'm about to send this to the chat and see if they want to do that instead i love erie hall like he's my fave um so i'm about to text the chat and be like let's go here tonight Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a lit one. Y'all need to listen to it. Tap, 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 in. 
it. Okay? yesterday getting ready with y'all before I went out to the party that I was talking to y'all about but I did it <laughs> um I ended up talking to my mom on the phone just for like hours and then like I took a nap and I was like okay I gotta get up and get ready and I was kind of rushing so I was just like I'm not taking y'all with me through this process because I was just rushing but girls last night was a night <laughs> Last night was a night and I enjoyed myself. I had really, really fun at the party with friends and I just had a great night. But I didn't get in the house, I think until like maybe 2 a.m. around that time. Um, and yeah, I'm still very sleepy. It is going on noon. Um, and my good friend um, Asa is having like a little um, get together cookout situation um, at her place, um, at her pool. So. I'm definitely looking forward to that because I really am in the mood to do something like super low key and like chill. I am all partied out. I am all loud music out. Like this entire weekend was a lot for me. You know your girls don't be getting outside like that. So this was a lot, okay? So I'm honestly about to just go ahead, take a shower, do my skincare, throw on a bathing suit, throw on some shorts. And then I'm gonna run out to the store and grab some snacks because she wants me to bring like chips, salsa, and you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go to the store and pick that up. Then I'm gonna head to her place and we're just gonna vibe out, sit in the sun, you know, feel good music type stuff. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna stay out all night. Um, I think I'm probably gonna end up coming back home around like five o'clock and really start to settle in for, you know, the evening because your girl work nine to five and I have work tomorrow. So I definitely am going to just aim for like a lower lift kind of like day feel. I mean your back on the bitch. I walk in bed for like Rick. Alright girls, so bathing suit top is from Zara, this like lime green color and then these bottoms, they are high waisted and they are from Riot Swim. Um, yeah, Riot Swim is a black owned um, swimwear company. Um, I do have the matching top but I just didn't feel like wearing it. So it's like a high cut up here um, on both sides and I love that it's like this nude brown color. Y'all know I love my nudes. Look at the abs, look at the abs. Don't play with her, don't play with her, don't play with her. This is the swimsuit that I'm wearing to ASUS. 
I just have on these light wash ripped jeans that are also from Zara um, and they are high waisted and they have like a button um, a button fly I guess if that's what you want to call it also y'all I don't know I feel like I woke up this morning feeling like I got hit by a truck <laughs> Like my body also just feels like hella kind of like sore. Just everything just feels like sore. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like I feel it here in the back of my head right here, lower back. And that's about it. Um, but I'm gonna monitor that throughout this week and keep y'all posted. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna holla at y'all when I get to Aces. Bye. Okay, chef. <laughs> Ace the baby. <laughs>